welcome back to Dog Pop Vlog. Today's video is going to be a slow feeder showdown. So I have four different types of slow feeders. I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons, and kind of go over each one, and then we're gonna put them each to the test. Bailey is a really fast eater, and I need to find a way to keep her from just inhaling her food. So let's take a look at the first one. So this first one here is by Kong, and as you can see, there are raised portions of the bowl that the food fits in. It keeps the dog from being able to just chomp, 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 because they have to work around each section here. They are um, in the shape of Kongs and bones. Pretty easy to clean because it's a hard surface. It does have a little bit of a grip along the bottom to keep it from sliding around the floor. So we'll see how Bailey did with this one. The first thing we're gonna do is the Kong feeder. I just put in a half cup of her dry kibble and I just kind of spread it around so it's evenly throughout the bowl. I'm going to time her to see how fast she eats this. Here we go. done got 229.26 for the Kong feeder. This next slow feeder here is for Martha Stewart. This does come in two different sizes. This is the larger one. It does kind of work like the first one where the dog has to maneuver in between the different sections to eat the food so it keeps them from inhaling it. This one however unlike having the hard sections like the Kong has more pliable sections so the dog can actually kind of push these open push their nose through push their mouth through and get the food out. It is flat on the bottom, um, rubberized. There's a little bit to keep it from sliding around, um, but you do need to be careful when you're pouring and setting it down because there's no edge to it so the food can fall out on the floor. So let's take a look at how this one did.
Okay, so we've got the 258 on the Martha Stewart slow feeder. This is the Snuffle Mat by Paw5. There is the wrapper that it came in. It is the official Snuffle Mat. You can make these. You can make these out of fleece. This one's made out of a really tough material, almost stretchy. Um, it reminds me of like a bathroom rug or a mop or something. But how this works is the food gets poured in it and the dog has to work through it to get the food out. Um, so this is a pretty cool idea. I haven't seen a slow feeder like this one. Um, and I, I like it so far. You can throw it in the washing machine to clean it. So let's take a look at how this one did. Okay, so I think she's just about done. So we're at like five minutes and 30 seconds. This cute little robot looking slow feeder is the Bobalot. Comes in two different sizes, large and small. I find that the small really fits a good half cup of dry kibble. Um, it is a slow feeder that is interactive. It does work more like a puzzle tool. The dog can pull the string, knock it, and the food will trickle out. I have it closed right now because I don't feel like cleaning it up, but there are different um, options. The food can come out of this opening here. You can take the top off, and there is another opening that the food can come out. So you can actually adjust it as the dog learns. You can make it um, a little bit more difficult each time. Um, the only thing I will say about this one, it is slow to fill. It, it takes a while to fill it and it is hard to clean. Um, but it is it is an attractive toy, it, it is a pretty strong toy, um, but this is more for if you really wanna keep your dog busy for a while, um, it's more of a puzzle toy. Just wanted to show you quickly how to fill up the bobble up because it's like its own thing. So this is the small, um, it does have this little door here and then you can adjust how much food comes out by closing it more and more where you can open it up all the way. So this is the top. Just unscrew the top. And there is a little yellow door there. So you just spin that around so it's open. And you pour the food inside of there. Now while you're pouring it, you wanna close this door because all the food will fall out while you're pouring it. So shut that. And then you're free to pour in the food from the top. That's a pretty small opening. So you get to pour a little bit, shake it, pour a little bit, shake it. So you'll see that now. So you'll see it'll accumulate at the top. So you just have to shake it, help it to go down. I mean, it just takes a, a little bit of time to fill up. It does. So, Cause the hole's only so big. So you just need to shake it and then force the food in. I just broke my hold on. I take actually this comes out, so let's see if that makes it. I mean the hole still stays the same size, but oh, I spilled some.
me is gonna force the food in. Spill some. This is like the last little bit of their dry food. That's why there's like the the food dust going on with it. But this this hole isn't bigger, but I'll show you why they didn't make this hole easy to fill. Okay, so now it's all in there. I'm gonna pop this back on. Now you have a couple of options with this. You can leave this open and this one, and it makes it a little bit easier for the dog to be able to get the food out. Um, but if your dog is a fast eater and is really smart, they'll figure that out pretty quickly. So um, you'll just turn it to shut it so the food doesn't fall back out. Put the top on. And then you'll open the door um, for how much you want it to, to let come out. So that's how you fill the bob a lot. But let's see how Bailey did with this one. Good girl. Might be empty. Good girl. Good job, Bailey. That was that was hard, huh? So just under 1330. She really had to work for that one. Alright, so thank you for watching guys. Um, I hope this is helpful. If you're looking for a slow feeder for your fast eater. Um, let me know what you use or let me know if you've tried one of these or if you have a completely different method. And um, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. And thank you for watching. Bye.